truly the superpower which man has released from within the atom's heart is not one, but many giants. The idea of splitting the atom to produce energy once promised to power the future. A giant of limitless power at man's command. But nuclear power's appeal has declined considerably since the first nuclear plant was built in 1954. Globally, only 38% of respondents to a 2011 Ipsos poll supported it. In the United States, the last all-new facility to go online was the Watts Bar nuclear plant, whose first unit went online in 1996 and its second in 2016. But what if there were a cheaper, safer way to harness atomic energy? Some scientists think there is, and it doesn't even have to be invented. Because it already was. Nuclear power comes from splitting the atomic nucleus of elements like uranium, setting off a chain reaction that generates a huge amount of energy. Over a million, billion, billion atoms exploding within two seconds. In the United States, there are 58 nuclear power plants in operation. All of them use either uranium-powered pressurized water or boiling water reactors. But waste created by spent nuclear fuels must be stored for tens of thousands of years to reach safe radiation levels. Another worry? That waste can also be enriched to make nuclear weapons. Although rare, meltdowns pose another threat. When cooling systems fail and heat from nuclear material begins to melt parts of the reactor, it can have drastic consequences. So what's the old idea gaining some new traction in some circles? They're called molten salt reactors, and they use elements like uranium or thorium cooled in molten salts to produce electricity. A number of companies are now working to develop the technology, which was originally piloted back in 1962. That's when the Oak Ridge National Laboratory began work on the molten salt reactor experiment. The molten salt reactor experiment involved using salt compounds heated until they became a liquid with the consistency of water. Uranium salts are added to the mixture as fuel. Other salts act as a coolant for the nuclear material. Oak Ridge was even experimenting with a way to siphon a little of the spent fuel at a time and purify it, adding it back to the reactor slurry, reducing overall waste. In theory, Molten salt reactors are meltdown proof, partly because the material is already in liquid form. If something were to happen, a failsafe called a freeze plug melts, dropping the molten material into an underground holding tank where it cools off. But Oak Ridge shut down the experiment in 1969, and the project closed for good in 1973, opting to focus all efforts on solid nuclear fuel reactors. Renewed interest in modern materials science has made the molten salt reactor an intriguing option again. Reactor designs include ones that might be able to reuse spent fuel from conventional nuclear plants. The idea has garnered attention, but it's not yet a reality. The earliest a prototype could be expected is in the mid-2020s, and full-scale reactors wouldn't be ready until the 2030s at least. But if successful, it could bring new reactors with new materials using old technology to make nuclear power safer, environmentally friendly. In the new world of the atomic age. <laughs>